Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the solution and discussion on UPSC Engineering Series exam questions in Mechanical Engineering. This is lecture number 37. We are going to take few questions in the topic Fluid Kinematics. The first question from 2015 question paper. In a streamline steady flow, two points A and B on a streamline are 1 meter apart and the flow velocity varies uniformly from 2 meters per second to 5 meters per second. What is the acceleration of the fluid part fluid at B? So, there are four options given here. The correct answer is 15 meter per second square. So, you will see how in the next slide. So, velocity V equal to function of S and T space and time. So, dv, change in velocity is dv, dou v by dou s ds plus dou v by dou t dt. The acceleration is a equal to dv by dt. So, dv by dt equal to dv by ds into ds by dt plus dv by dou v by dou t into dt by dt equal to dou v by dou s ds by dt plus dou v by dou t because dt by dt it is getting cancelled. For steady flow, the Temperature velocity change with respect to time is negligible. So, A equal to dou V by dou S into ds by dt. So, ds by dt equal to V. The change in the displacement with respect to time is the velocity V into dou V by dou S. At the point B, A equal to acceleration A equal to V into dou V by dou S. So, V equal to phi, final uh, point B velocity is 5 meters per second into phi minus 2 d dou V equal to phi minus 2 divided by dou S equal to 1 meter. So, 15 meter by second square. So, this is the answer to the question. Next question from 2015 question paper. The stream function is given by psi equal to 3 x y. Then the velocity at a point 2 comma 3 is. We have four options. We calculate psi equal to 3 x y u equal to minus dou psi by dou y which is minus 3 x which is 6. So, x equal to 2 so minus 6. V velocity component V equal to dou psi by dou x which is 3 y. So, substituting y equal to 3 it is 9. So, the x velocity V equal to square root of u square plus v square which is square root of 36 plus 81 equal to 10.81 meters per second. So, the velocity is 10.8 meter. So, that is uh, option D is the correct answer 10.8 meters per second. Next question from 2014 question paper a two dimensional velocity field is given by V equal to x square plus y square plus x i minus 2 x y minus y j. The convective acceleration at x y equal to 1 comma 2 is we have four options here. So, the correct option is 14 unit the convective acceleration is 14 unit we will see how in the next slide. So, the answer to the question velocity v is given by x square plus y square plus x i minus 2 x y minus y j. So, the component u equal to x square plus y square plus x and the component v velocity component v equal to minus of 2 x y minus y. So, convective acceleration at the x comma y equal to 1 comma 2 that we have to calculate. So, A x equal to u into dou u by dou x plus v into dou u by dou y. So, A x equal to u equal to x square plus y square plus x dou by dou x of u that is x square plus y square plus x, my, plus x minus v minus 2 x y minus y dou by dou, y, dou by dou y of u. So, x square plus y square plus x. So, doing the differentiation x square plus y square plus x as it is multiplied by dou by dou x of the entire term. So, x square 2 x x 1 y square 0 minus 2 x y minus y dou by dou y of the entire term it is 2 y. So, substituting the values a x equal to 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 multiplied by 2 into 1 plus 1 minus 2 into 1 into 2 minus 2 into 2 into 2 equal to 10. A y acceleration the y side y component u dou v by dou x plus v into dou v by dou y. So, u equal to x square plus y square plus x dou by dou x of v minus of minus 2 x minus y minus 2 x y minus y dou by dou y of minus of 2 x y minus y. 
So differentiating, you will get the minus sign minus x square plus y square plus x. Dou by dou x of the entire term is 2x plus this becomes plus 2xy minus y. Dou by dou y of this value 2x minus 1. So substituting the numerical values, ay equal to minus 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 into 2 into 1 plus 2 into 1 into 2 minus 1 into 2 into 1 minus 1 equal to minus 9. So the acceleration a equal to axi plus ayj, this is equal to ax square plus ay square. So 100 square plus 81 square equal to 13.45. So 13.45 is the acceleration that is the answer to the question. Next question from 2016 question paper, for a two dimensional flow, the scalar component of velocity field Vx equal to minus 2x and Vy equal to 27 and the Vz equal to 0. The corresponding component of acceleration Ax and Ay respectively are, we have four options here. So we calculate the velocity component Ax and Ay. So the u equal to Vx equal to minus 2x, V equal to Vy equal to 27, the component of acceleration. Ax equal to u into dou e by dou x plus v into dou e by dou y, u equal to minus 2x, dou e by dou x equal to minus 2, so plus 27, v equal to 27, dou u by dou y equal to 0, so this will be plus 4x. Ay equal to u into dou v by dou x plus v into dou v by dou y, so v, v, uh, v is a constant, so differentiating v with respect to xy equal to 0, so the answer is 0. So Ax equal to 4x and the ay equal to 0, the answer is 4x comma 0. Next question from 2018 question paper, there are two statements. Statement 1, when the flow is unsteady, both the normal and tangential component of acceleration will occur. Statement 2, during the unsteady flow, in addition to the change in the velocity along the path, velocity will also change with respect to time. So there are four options here. The correct option is, both the statement 1 and 2, they are correct. But uh, statement 2 is not the correct explanation of statement 1. So the, both the statements are individually correct. Next question again from 2018 question paper. Statement 1, non-viscous flow between two parallel plates held parallel with a very small space between them is an example for irrotational flow. Statement 2, forced vertex implies irrotational flow. So select the correct answer using the code given below. So the answer is statement 1 is true, but the statement 2 is false. Forced vertex implies, implies irritational flow, that is a wrong statement. The next question from 2019 question paper, the steam function for a flow field is given by psi equal to 3x square y plus 2 plus t y square. The velocity at a point p for a position vector r equal to i plus 2j minus 3k and time t equal to 2 will be, we have four options here. So the correct option is 19i minus 12j. So we will see how in the next slide. So the position vector uh, point p, x equal to 1, y equal to 2 and t equal to 2. Velocity u equal to dou psi by dou y which is 3x square plus 2y into 2 plus t. This is equal to substituting the value 3 into 1 plus 2 into 2 plus 2 in 2 plus 2. This is equal to 19. Velocity vector v equal to minus dou psi by dou x, which is minus of 6xy, which is substituting the value minus 6 into 1 into 2 equal to minus 12. So velocity vector u equal to ui plus vj, 19i minus 12j, it is the answer. 19i minus 12j is the answer to the question. The next question from 2022 question paper, the following cases represent a the two velocity components v equal to 2y square w equal to 2xyz. What is the third component of velocity such that that satisfy the continuity equation? So there are four options here. The correct option of the answer we calculate. The continuity equation dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y plus dou w by dou z equal to 0. So dou u by dou x equal to minus dou v by dou y minus dou w by dou z. Differentiating minus 4y minus 2xy. Then integrating u equal to minus 4xy minus x square y equal to a function of y and z. So the answer is option A minus 4xy minus x square y plus function of y z is the answer to the question. The next question from 2014 question paper, which of the following statement is correct for the velocity potential? 
the existence of elastic potential is an indication of irrotational nature of the flow velocity potential automatically satisfy the continuity equation velocity potential can be satisfied only for two dimensional flow all the above so which is the correct assessment if the velocity potential phi satisfies the laplace equation then it represents possible steady incompressible irrotational flow the irrotational flow is also known as potential flow so the answer is existence of velocity potential is the indication of irrotational nature of the flow next question from 2014 question paper a flow net is a graphical representation of steam lines and the eq potential lines such that these lines there are four options intersect each other at various different angles formation of irregular spaced nets intersects each other orthogonally from curvilinear square option c indicate the direction of direction but not the magnitude of the vector option d indicate the direction and the magnitude of the vector so this is the flow net so the uh, eq potential line they are the line indicated here and the uh, steam lines are indicated this way so if we look at the flow net the correct option is intersect each other orthogonally so orthogonally they are 90 degree meeting at 90 degree orthogonally form curvilinear square so this is what the curvilinear square it is not a straight square it is a curvilinear square so option b is the correct answer we stop here so these are all the books i have written in mechanical engineering subject uh, you can refer to the book fluid mechanics and machinery for the theoretical concept of fluid kinematics and i upload the lectures on the subject in the youtube channel so you refer to the channel for your better preparation thank you for watching please post your comments on the comments box we will meet again with another video lecture on the solution for upsc engineering service exam questions in fluid mechanics until then bye